Class, before we get into our notebook, we are going to practice some words that, um, let's see, the words that we learned today are base words for these words. These aren't going to be on a quiz, but um, we just want to practice adding some prefixes and some suffixes to these words. All right, so the word come, how do we say that to spell it, class? Excellent, we say comb. All right, go ahead and write and mark comb is how we say to spell it. All right, so, so to spell come, we say comb. And this is what it looks like. All right, yesterday, in the afternoon at least, we were practicing adding suffixes to different kinds of words. We practiced one, one, one words. We practiced words that end with a single Y. There's another suffix rule that we didn't get to practice yesterday that we'll practice today. Um, we learned it earlier, but I'm glad we get a chance to review it. That is when we have words that end with a silent final E. All right, so we know that we're gonna, this word, We'll, we'll use those rules because this one ends with a silent final E. All right, that rule is when we are adding a vowel suffix to a word that ends with a silent final E. Oh, do you remember what we do to that silent final E? All right, when we're adding a vowel suffix to a word that ends with a silent final E, we drop that silent final E. All right, so before I have you do that, I'll give you an example. So the word love, which of course we know is also a two-way word, and we say love, love, sorry. We say love to spell it, and then this is silent final E. What job is this class? Good job two, V or U, think job two. So that's English words do not end with V or U. All right, so love is how we, Say it when we're talking, love is how we say it to spell it. If I want to say loving, let's see, my mother is very loving. So if we want to add that ing, since ing is a vowel suffix and this ends with a silent final e, I drop the silent final e before I add that vowel suffix. So I write my base word without the silent final e and then I add my suffix. Right. So anytime we have a word that ends with a silent final E, um, and we're adding a vowel suffix, we're going to drop that silent final E. Um, well, unless there, there are a few exceptions to that, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right. So our word come, or how do we say it to spell it? Good. Comb ends with a silent final E. If I want to write the word coming, so if I want to add the vowel suffix ing to the end of this base word, what am I going to do to my silent final e? Good, I'm going to drop it. All right, so let's write coming. Two syllables, right? Remember, ing always gets its own syllable. All right, what's our first syllable? Good, it's come, so it's our base word, but don't write the silent final e. Right, and then go ahead and add that vowel suffix, ing. All right, so our first syllable, come, or comb is how we say it to spell it, but we drop the silent final e. And then what's our second syllable? Good, ing. I think most of us are remembering we don't even have to say all the sounds anymore. We don't have to say it ing. We just remember, and you can just say ing. All right. Now, when we do this class, if you look at this word, it might help you. Am I going to mark anything in the first syllable? Yep. Even though I dropped my silent final e, I'm still going to mark this to honor the base word because this is still saying o for, well, it's a two-way word, but you know what I mean. Um, the, we dropped a silent final E. What the silent final E was doing, right, is still there. So we keep those markings. I say we mark it to honor our base word. 
All right. So coming, remember we dropped the silent final E before we add the vowel suffix. All right. So this was adding a suffix. Class, what's a, a suffix? Good. Look where it is in the word. It's an ending. All right. Now we're going to add a prefix to another word. Class, what is a prefix? Right, a prefix, remember, comes before our base word. All right, so um, let's see, we had, actually, let's stick with our same word, come. Um, we are going to add the prefix B. If we add B to this, what is our word? Good, B come. How many syllables? Good, two. All right, the first syllable is what? Good. B. What are we going to write to spell B? Good. B. E. And it's an open syllable. All right. Go ahead and write that first syllable, B, that prefix, B. All right. And then go ahead and write the base word, come. So become, except we would say become to spell it. All right, so after you have become written and marked, um, but you're, so if you don't have become written and marked yet, pause the video. All right, class, what's our first syllable? The B. And the second syllable? Good comb. All right. How would we mark this class? Good, we need to underline it because it's saying its name. And then hopefully we have all of this too. All right, so we practiced adding a suffix. Now we practiced adding a prefix. Let's take this as our word and add a suffix to this. So our word is become or become. Let's go ahead and write becoming. Let's see. You are becoming very good with your phonics rules. Becoming. All right. So this is this is still our base word. We're going to keep the prefix we added. We're going to add the suffix ing. Class, what am I going to do to the silent final e? All right. I need to drop it since if I want to add a vowel suffix. All right, so we're going to write become. We're going to drop the silent final E before we add the vowel suffix ing. All right, so go ahead and write that. We would say becoming. To spell it when we're talking, we say becoming. Becoming. All right, so go ahead and write and mark becoming. This guy, don't put it in there. You gotta drop it. All right, so let's see. What's our first syllable in becoming class? Good B. The second one, good comb. Class, do I write that silent final E? Kind of gave it away there. We sure don't. No. And my third syllable, good, ing. All right, so we need to mark our first syllable. What kind of syllable is it? Good, open. And then mark our second syllable to honor our base word. And mark our suffix. All right. We're going to do one last, um, one last word that, so the past tense of come, what's the past tense of come? Good, came. Go ahead and write and mark came. All right, this is our came. All 
All right, if we want to, let's see, so the past tense of come is came. The, the past tense of become is, if you know what it is, tell me. Good, became. So once again, all we need to do to this is add our prefix be. All right, so we want to write became. All right, go ahead and add that prefix be and write our base word again. So you have became, became. All right, in B came, class, what's our first syllable? Good, B. And our second syllable? Excellent, came. All right, class, how do I need to mark my, what do I need to mark in my first syllable? All right, good. So you could have said your E or the vowel or this is an open syllable, so we underline it. But underline it, the underlines tells us tells us that our vowel is saying it's what? Good, it's name. All right, and then of course we're going to mark our base word. All right, class. I just think this year I'm having a greater appreciation of prefixes and suffixes because look, when we know how to add them, and it's not hard, right? Because there's only so many prefixes and suffixes that we use, we took one base word and then all of a sudden, when we know how to add prefixes and suffixes, that one word that we knew how to spell turn and read turns into four. All right. So again, these words are not going to be on our quiz, but I just wanted you to see how, how powerful our prefixes and suffixes can be because all of a sudden, you know so many more words. All right, I'll see you in the next video and we'll get into our notebook.